Let's talk about the pros and cons of living in New Zealand. If you don't know us, we are a family of six that have moved from the US to New Zealand and have been here for eight years. So I'm gonna give you some insider tips on some of the pros and some of the cons that you might not just inherently know about unless you've lived here for eight years about living in New Zealand. So here we go. If you're thinking about moving to New Zealand, you have to check out my free 50 minute masterclass. I'll put it in the description below. It gives you everything you need to know to get started. Even if you're just coming and traveling here for about a year, you're gonna wanna check it out, it's free. Okay, let's start with the pros, okay? Number one pro of living in New Zealand is the work-life balance. So whether you are here as a casual worker, as a full-time worker, you get four weeks of paid vacation relatively quickly from starting employment. And then you also get all the paid holidays and they just value having time off. They value having a significant time off at one, you know, at a, like a big chunk instead of like breaking it up. And it's just in the value system here and it's just very reasonable for people to be like, oh yes, you need to take a holiday or please don't check your phone, check your email when you're on vacation or on holiday. And it's just, it's just a culture here of balance. And it's just ingrained in everybody and you don't have to feel bad for asking. You don't have to feel like, oh, I can't take any more time off, whatever, it's okay. It's expected, it's actually valued. You get time off like when you are pregnant, or when you have a baby and you like, you don't need to spend time with your child and you don't have to go back to work sometimes even for a year. Like, it's just, there's an amazing balance and it's a stark contrast to what I had experienced in the US. So I don't know where you're coming from, so maybe you already are coming from somewhere that's work-life balance, but that's a huge plus in New Zealand. Okay, number two. Let's talk about the fact that you can have a garden all year round. So that may be true where you're from right now, but for me, I was from the Midwest, and so you'd have this beautiful garden, grow vegetables in the summer, just for the harsh winters to come in and then ruin everything, and you'd have to start all over again, which makes it very futile, really. <laughs> and here, I just never had experienced being able to have a garden all year round, being able to grow different things and having different blossoms all year round is actually very beautiful. Okay, number three, if you come to New Zealand. The Maori culture here, the indigenous people are integrated into society and in education and just in how you do things. Uh, they have brought their language back and it's just amazing. And I have just never seen a country do this well and New Zealand does it well. It's not perfect, but they do it well comparatively. <laughs> I mean, I have seen how Americans treat the Native Americans I didn't know, I mean, you do know. I mean, I didn't know it could look so much better. I didn't really have a vision for that. And then now coming here and seeing that and how it's just integrated into work life and the education and just the society and the resources and how you can be a part of it. And it's just kind of integrated. It's just really great. So when you come to New Zealand, definitely embrace the different cultures. There's lots of cultures here, but embrace the Maori culture, understand the history and the values that they bring to society are second to none. Let's talk about another pro is that they just have such good conservation efforts. Like they really like, I've just never seen it before like this. It's just like the, the, the way that they treat their indigenous birds and wildlife. They just, just their, their conservation efforts are great. And like, they also are very environmental. Like you can't, you don't have plastic bags at the grocery store anymore. You, I mean, they, you know, they've slowly gotten better, but they're just, I think so significantly better than what the, where the U S is. And just like the concern for the environment, like even when your kids and when they go to school, like you can't really, it's like a faux pas or not good if you, Put your kids food in plastic bags it should just be in the plastic container and it just be separate slots you know and it's just it's great like i just had never experienced that there's not a lot of pre-packaging they're just they're very good at finding ways to be resourceful you know this isn't a consumerism society they like you know like they just patch things up they actually have stores in wellington where they can fix your shoes like i think as an american you just think you're just gonna go buy new shoes but they're but that is quite wasteful and so like just fix your shoes just sew your pants just fix what you have and make do and it's just it's just really good they, it's just a really pro it's just a really good thing about living in New Zealand. Okay, the next one is healthcare. Let's talk about healthcare. The fact that the public gets 
free healthcare is huge. And when you come from a country where it's privatized and expensive and difficult, everything's difficult. And you know who's not winning is the people that are living there, okay? <laughs> The people living in America, they're not winning in healthcare, okay? The insurance companies are winning. I don't even think that the doctors are winning. I don't, it's it's just that the fact that you can't just like go to the doctor, people are making decisions on where they work, staying at jobs that they hate because they get insurance. Like it's just, it's mind boggling. And so here you have the option to get insurance, which I do because I'm American, I'm like freaked out not to, but also you just have free public healthcare and it's like, so many free benefits for children before they're 18 and for dental and healthcare. And it's just so reasonable. Pharmacy is reasonable. Sometimes it's free, $5, $10. I've rarely paid more than $10 for a prescription. I mean, it's just like my,